Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I was just going to the supermarket today and I noticed the clouds. The clouds were auspicious for the first, first time in a long time. They haven't been bad before but today they're auspicious. So I went into the supermarket and I was on the way to the salad bar which is very fresh there and I heard a gnome, a gnome in the supermarket. So I said, where are you? And it said, I'm under the counter. Uh, it was under, not the side of the counter where the people queue up, but the other side of the counter where they exit quickly. So in its immediate vicinity under the counter, um, where the plastic bags are kept on the other side there, it was pretty quiet compared to the rest of the market and dark and it liked it there. Then I heard someone say, maybe a fairy, maybe um, a, a young person of pure heart, maybe a woman, who said, um, how do you know they're gnomes? And I said, because of the warble in their voice. And they wrote that down, I think. So just to explain that a little bit farther, gnomes are pretty solitary. And I'm still looking out for the different types of gnome homes. In fact, I should go back to the supermarket and take a picture under the counter there. And gnomes are, the, their voices sound like older men, maybe older great uncles. And because they are solitary, they don't have family around. And, uh, but the voices have a warble in it that makes it very um, very easy on the ears, you know. The feeling that you get from listening to a gnome is that it's good-natured, uh, solitary, and male, and older, and, and kind of wise, I think. They're learned. They understand about big words and, and and like that. They're wise. That's all for now.